Hi guys, did you ever try to make a less than one ohm resistor measurement with a digital multimeter? Probably you will get frustrated because no one of them will be good enough. Let's learn about it. For many of our multimeters, one ohm resistor will be in the limit of the specifications or the tolerance to read with your multimeter. Things get serious when we try to make a measurement with less than one ohm. One of the main reasons why it happened is because many multimeters have a very high resistance in the test leads. And that test lead resistance is very high compared with 0 0.1 ohm. Now, if we try to go from 0 0.1 ohm to 0. 0, 1 ohm, forget it. No one of our digital multimeters could be good enough for that. So we have to go for plan B. One plan B could be to get a specialized digital multimeter, like a bench multimeter. This kind of multimeters use four wires test for resistors. And is what we call the Kelvin test. It's an extra accessory in some of the multimeters. You can get it and you can make circuits with it too and apply the system. Back to the multimeter, what we get is something like this. It's four wire sense. We use two lines to give the voltage and the other two lines to make a measurement of the voltage the voltage drop in the resistor. So the true, we are not making a resistor measurement. We are making a voltage drop measurement on the resistor. As a plan C, we can get a dummy lot, an electronic lot. In this case, what we do is we generate constant current with it and we apply it to the resistor we want to test using the voltimeter to get a reading of the voltage drop across the, of the resistor. Let's learn how to do it. The circuit is very simple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set up the dummy lot for one ampere. With one ohm resistor, one ampere will be one voltage drop across of the resistor. In this case, I will use the multimeter in voltage or millivolts if it is possible, then I will get re the reading across of the resistor. Guys, very important, don't even forget. When you work with this kind of test, when you work applying one ampere to one resistor, you must remember you have power. And that power, you have to calculate the power. I'm using one ampere in one ohm that will give me one volt drop but also it will be one watt dissipation remember guys one watt is heat two watts is more heat three watts a lot of heat that's the reason why when we forget about to calculate in the watts we get a beautiful black spot in our workbench that will be there forever telling us you forgot to calculate the watts so do not start a fire at home Here I'm applying 1.7 volts and I set the electronic load to 1 ampere. Let's see what happens when I turn it on. Now it's on and it tells me there is 986 milliamperes across of the resistor. This is the resistor and the voltage across of the resistor with the test leads shows 978 millivolts. That means my resistor that is one ohm with a tolerance of plus minus 5%
is with one ampere across showing by ohm's law is 0 0.978 ohms with same settings 1 ampere 1.77 volts I switched the resistor for one resistor of 0 0.1 ohms let's see what happened when I turn it on now it's on this is my resistor with its tolerance plus minus 5% and I'm making a measurement of the voltage across the, res the resistor with 1 ampere and the multimeter says is 0 0.1 volt that guys is the proper way to get the measurement of a resistor less than one ohm with a digital multimeter thanks by watching see you next time